Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of Voice of Radio, so today we need to have a good old look at Surgeon Sparks, and we need to have a look at what's coming, what you should be focusing on, and how excited you should be getting, because places are taking pre-orders for Surgeon Sparks at this point. So, if pre-orders are being taken, we really do need to be making a little bit of an effort here to talk about it, so you guys are fully prepared in what you're pre-ordering and all of that good stuff. Now, bit of a caveat before we get going here, as I always tell you, I can't tell you where to pre-order. Now, my advice, and it's been this way for a very long time, my advice is find a local game store, make friends with your local game store, order from your local game store. If you can, and I know not everyone can, and that's okay, but if you can, even if it's a little more expensive, use your local game store, because where things are sold out, where things are a pain to get hold of, your local game store will hook you up in a way that random cheap online seller number six is never going to do so. Excellent. So Surging Sparks then, what have we got in terms of this set? Well, we've got a set that's got Stellar Terra Pikachu, which at the time of recording this video, we don't know anything about. Like, we know it's coming, but we don't know what it does. We know that this set is going to be the Japanese set Paradise Dragona. We know there is going to be another Japanese set that comes in here as well. By the way, we know the Japanese set is going to be called Super Electric Breaker, I've literally made videos on that in the past. The reason I didn't mention it in the Surging Sparks reveal video was I was sticking to stuff which had been officially revealed. And although we know that set's coming in Japan, and we do, I'm absolutely sure of it, it's still a set which we only know about because of listings and trademarks and all of that. It wasn't really the right video to be talking about unrevealed Japanese sets. Although, yes, as several of you have reminded me, we know the Japanese set, and of course we do. I've literally made videos about it. But Paradise Dragona is already looking like a very cool set over in Japan. It's one I'm very excited for. We've got Super Electric Breaker, which is bringing in your Stellar Terra Pikachu. Things are looking good. So what can you get? Well, usual deal here. You can get yourself booster packs and booster boxes, which is standard. It's a Pokemon set. Now, obviously, for special sets like Shrouded Fable, for instance, you cannot buy just packs and boxes but you can this is a regular set jobs are good un. which also means that the booster bundle becomes an incredibly skippable set and i don't wish to be rude here but basically if it's something like shrouded fable for instance where you can't just go and buy packs then the booster bundle becomes awesome because it's six packs at a price of six packs and it's the best, most efficient way to actually go and buy packs of the set. But here, you, you can just go and buy six packs, or five packs, or four packs, or seven packs, or eight packs, or a booster box, or whatever. And I'm not saying the booster bundle isn't worth buying, but I'm saying it's six packs for the price of six packs in a set where you can just go and buy packs. It's not as exciting as, say, for instance, Shrouded Fable, where it's six packs for the price of six packs when you can't go and buy packs. Now, the other thing that you really need to get your pre-order in for as soon as possible is your Elite Trainer Box. Now, we know, as always, there's two versions. There's the regular and the Pokemon Center exclusive. And we know that the Pokemon Center exclusive, as the name might suggest, is only available at the Pokemon Center. And that is in the UK, US, and Canada. And what that means is that if you want to be picking this up, you do have to pre-order at the Pokemon Center. And it means you might need to be a little bit quicker with this than you would be with some other things. Now, honestly, these things tend to be all over the place. Sometimes they sell out super quickly and never come back, or at least come back very quickly and go again. Sometimes they're available for months on end without a break. It really does depend. But what I will tell you about this particular Elite Trainer Box it is a Pikachu Elite Trainer Box. And you may have noticed in your Pokemon fandom so far that Pikachu tends to be pretty popular. So I think 
if you were ever going to pre-order a Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer box because you really didn't want to miss out, this might be one where it's kind of important to pre-order sooner rather than later because I do think this one could go. And I think if it does go, some of you are going to be pretty sad out there. You have been warned. The regular Elite Trainer box is going to be available for a lot longer and it's going to be much easier to get hold of. But the Pokemon Center exclusive will be available at the Pokemon Center for an indeterminate amount of time. And once it's gone, it may well be gone forever. Now, do remember the Pokemon Center exclusive is $10 extra. And it comes with two extra packs and a second promo. That's what the extra $10 gets you. And we need to talk about this promo because this promo is redonk. The promo here is Magneton. And it's an illustration rare Magneton. And without getting too deep into this, because we did this the other day, we know that there are 24, well, I said, there's always 24 illustration rares in the two Japanese sets. And we know for a fact from the press release that there are going to be 23 illustration rares in this set, in Surging Sparks. So this isn't going to be in the set proper. This is going to be essentially exclusive to the Elite Trainer Box. And it's a great one. Now, I know Shinji Kanda is a very popular artist. Lots of people love them. That's cool. Not my favourite artist, but art is subjective. And not everyone loves my favourite artist. That's fine. But firstly, it's an illustration rare by Shinji Kanda that a lot of people are going to love. Secondly, this Magneton is busted. It's a ridiculously good card. Because you can KO it, which I know, you know, KOing it, giving up a prize, all of that. But then you get to attach free basic energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon, your lightning Pokemon, in any way you like. And it's any basic energy, but specifically onto lightning Pokemon. And it's great. It is going to make lightning decks way better. It could potentially make Iron Hands even more terrifying than it is at the moment. And we've got so many cards out there like Counter Catcher, which actually make it quite nice to give up an early prize sometimes. I think this Magneton is going to be absolutely busted. Which means that for a lot of people, they're going to be playing it. And the best version is going to be this Illustration Rare. And the best version of that is going to be the stamped version. You see where I'm going with this. There we go. Uh, elsewhere in the Elite Trainer Box, I should say the sleeves are really nice. The dice are incredibly mid. And just the design overall is awesome. And I think it's very cool. Now, also available, we've got the usual lineup of blisters. The free pack blisters here. There are two, as they always are. And they feature Quagsire that was a promo. And Zapdos, which was brand new. When I did the reveal video for Surging Sparks, this was a brand new card we'd never seen before, but it very quickly got revealed to be in the Sylveon deck over in Japan. That Sylveon Terra deck, yeah, it, it's coming in that, which basically tells us that everything from those couple of decks, the Cerule Edge one as well, are going to be coming in Surging Sparks. But this Zapdos is actually legit. The Quagsire, for what it's worth, is not a great card. Sorry about that. But Zapdos, 2 energy, 20 damage, plus 10 more for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. If you get a decent hit in with basically anything, Zapdos will finish off. Zapdos is going to be really, really nice for getting two hit KOs. And it's a 2 energy basic Pokemon. I'm telling you right now, I think this Zapdos is actually genuinely a really good card. And it is exclusive to the free pack blisters. I would pick some of these up. I think this Zapdos is going to be a very playable card. I think it's going to be played in a bunch of decks. And it is exclusive. I don't usually say you have to go and get these blister promos. But I'm telling you now for Zapdos. And this is a big bonus to anyone that, you know, took the time to watch this video. This is a really good exclusive card. You should get some of these. Because they are going to... I'm convinced it's going to see play in some lightning decks. In the one-pack blisters, we've got Wooper that was a gym promo. And Pachirisu that was a magazine promo. And the Pachirisu is actually potentially good as well. Pachirisu lets you flip three coins. And for each head, you get to attach a basic lightning energy from your discard to your bench in any way you like. Yes, the flips put me off a little bit as well. But... 
I love this in any deck where I'm playing like Reset Stamp. Because I'm going to leave Pachirisu in the active, accelerating energy. And then if my opponent dares to knock it out, I'm going to Reset Stamp them to a two-card hand. And if they don't, I'm going to accelerate a bunch of energy. I think Zapdos is legit great. I think Pachirisu has a little bit of potential. I don't think it is as good as Zapdos. I don't think you necessarily need it. But I'm certainly going to pick a couple of these up just in case. And then we have the check lane blisters as well. Remember, check lane blisters are just full on reprints. And what we got with the check lane blisters here is Alakazam and Chandelure. They are straight reprints of existing cards. Buy these if you want to keep them sealed. Or buy these if the Chandelure and Alakazam have different hollow patterns. If neither of those is true, I don't think it's a product which is worth picking up. What is absolutely worth picking up, if you're in the US, is the Grand Adventure Collection. You get yourself some booster packs, not all Surging Sparks. What we see on here is two Surging Sparks, one Stellar Crown, and one, I believe, a Subsidian Flames. But you also get yourself free exclusive promos, a Fue Coco, a Sprigatito, and a completely busted Terrapagos and Friends. But it's Jumbo and it's never coming out as a regular size card because absolutely absurdly full-on busted but these are extremely cool cards that tie in with the anime that can only be found here in the u.s this product has not come to europe i did a follow-up video to surging sparks where i told you this this is not a product coming to europe in the uk then on the pokemon center and other retailers these free promos are going to be available one a month for over three months starting at the end of the year but in the u.s you can go and buy this product and it's really cool and I think maybe some of you should. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. That is Surging Sparks. It is a set that I am... I'm really quite excited about this one. I think it's going to be a really good set. It's one that I'm very excited about. And we've got some cool stuff coming. Plus, we've got the best blister promos we've had in a while. It's the first time in a while I've looked at one of these blister promos, the Zapdos specifically and gone, I have to pick some of them up as a promo. That could be really good. But I've told you all about this now, so now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about all of this in the comment section. Tell me what you're picking up. Tell me how excited you are. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. Oh, and get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Andrew Kincaid, who's been a supporter of us for a while, is a lovely dude, helps out at events and all of that, and from my experience, has been a thoroughly lovely chap. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.